Not much cooler than that, TD. Are you ready for to get this game underway? I feel like, you know, a lot of people out there talking about Henry and history, talking about Wesley and his first belt. This battle right down the middle. Yeah, this is the Super Bowl of our Madden season. And it's only right that these two guys, this is crazy. They both moved to Austin, Texas in the same apartment, upstairs and downstairs from each other. Who would have thought they would meet in the grand finals of the biggest Madden tournament in history? I mean, this is insane. And like you said, this is a mirror match. You're going to see both guys rocking the same playbooks, same schemes. So who's going to think outside the box? Who's going to try to bring something different here? Because you know these guys just yeah. know each other so well. Henry, one of the best all-around players. Okay. He is going to be starting off on offense in that gun punch formation with, again, that out of position Derrick Henry. For those just tuning in, maybe for the first time, Ty, that Derrick Henry came out with the Zero Chill program. You might be thinking he's a running back at quarterback, but the way these out of position items are designed, he actually can throw the ball really well. He can really well, and a lot of these out-of-position items are really good this year, of course. He's got the escape artist ability, so you're going to see him move around a lot outside the pocket. He's got so much speed, and he's got that pass-lead elite ability. So he gets a little bit extra velocity on his passes. He has a really good release as well. So, in my opinion, one of the top three quarterbacks you can use uh, at this point in the year in that ultimate team. As the bunch flips, Henry has the former Oklahoma Sooner, Adrian Peterson. On his right hip, it is Derrick Henry back to pass. Five-man rushing. It's a quick throw to that wheel route. Ty, that is the best route in Madden 22 by far. Yeah, if you guys are new to Madden 22, for the viewers out there, get some wheel routes on your field. You're going to see a lot of verticals out of gun bunch offset. The guys like to run that. They come up, they quick snap it to the short side of the field. There's two wheel routes between the tight end and the running back. They're really effective. They get underneath zones, and they can beat man coverage as well. Second down and three. On the right side, and he'll pick up a first down. Let's bring in. Let's, this booth's going to get crowded tonight. Let's bring in one great user. User, you saw Wesley and Henry's mutt items. Your thoughts on who you might be possibly adding to your squad? Who are you more looking forward to? Uh, I'm probably going to take Henry's receiver because he has the best one. So, listen, if y'all may have noticed, Chad, y'all saw the tweets by Henry and Wesley. Hey, man, I messed up on the opportunity. Hey, man, please don't slaughter me. And let me, y'all might not really understand the, the drastic level of their mistake that they made because they could have picked a quarterback and gave him any ability bucket, meaning that they could have picked like Michael Vick and you could have had a scrambler and had the 2AP, but also have a strong arm bucket so you could get gunslinger for 3 AP where we could have been good guys but they didn't understand and that's why they came out with the tweet so they really did fumble the bag but if you ask in my opinion that's a dot right there big play by henry that's a dot right there if you ask in my opinion henry still has the best car because he has a 6-6 receiver and his receiver has the slot archetype bucket where you can get slot apprentice for one ap so y'all just soak that in and really realize how bad they fumbled the bag in the madden community they want us to forgive them y'all know better than that. This ain't League of Legends. We toxic. We got to get on their head all day, boys. Y'all know what to do. A second and five for Henry with Derrick Henry. And once again, throwing the quick throw to the flat. That's Charlie Joyner with the catch to the 20-yard line. Already TD, Henry inside the red zone. Yeah, and I want to point out, of course, both guys rocking the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive playbook. So like I said, it's a mirror match. But what I noticed so far is these guys usually play at a much faster pace. Because they know each other so well, they really slowed it down here, using a little bit more time when they set their audibles. They're, they're flipping the play a lot more. They're setting more hot roads. So the pace is really slowed down. I think that's a credit to how well these guys know each other, you know, just trying to slow it down, make the right read. Second down is short for Henry as he would give the ball to Adrian Peterson trying to find some room. And this is inside the 10-yard line. It's bringing Clef to God. Clef Wesley having some trouble out there stopping this Henry attack. Yeah, and this is what we talked about pregame. Who would be the first one to bring something different to the table? You playing somebody you play against all the time. They know your tendencies, so you got to mix it up. You see Wes in a whole different playbook. He's usually in that 4-6 playbook, running 3-3-5 wide. Now you see him in Bucks. What is he running? 2-3-6 wheels, something that gave Henry problems. Drini gave Henry a lot of problems. He made Henry look very mediocre on offense for like three quarters. So you see Wes come out here, gets right into this defense, and he's giving up yards early. But I think as the game settles in, we'll see him adjust a little bit more and be more comfortable. For the first time, we'll see Henry go into that tight slots formation. Three wide receivers, one tight end. Henry back to pass on second and goal. Rolling right, it's well covered, but can Henry get to the corner? What a click on. Gets to Marshawn Lattimore, TD, and prevents him from running into the end zone. Great stick work from both guys right there. I thought Henry had the running back early going to that left side to RB and just missed it. Rolls out right, Blake. Great click on from Wesley. Good stick work. 
It gets tight down here in the red zone, guys, but look for these double wheel routes now as he goes to the tight slots. Third and goal. Back to pass with Derrick Henry. Three-man rush. Stepping right in trouble. Rolling right. Trying to get away from the defense. He's Let's got go. the go. late throw. And we going crazy. It's picked off by the rookie Patrick Sertan. Going the other way. The first mistake from Mr. 10 for 10. He lurked them. What a lurk by Wesley Gittens. With 250,000 on the line on the crucial, what a click on. I mean, that was phenomenal. Henry kind of outplayed him, right? He, he rolled out, thought he had it, and then watch this click on from Wesley. Clicks onto the closest defender. Henry forces it, throws it late, and Wesley clicks on to certain. That was absolutely nasty. Ever since the start of the pandemic, we've been lurking from home. And Wesley starts things off with a massive turnover. That's got to be a big momentum boost as we'll take a look at Wesley's offense that he's bringing out on the field. He also rocking Derrick Henry. That Tony Pollard team of the year item has been stellar. Yeah, a little bit of a mirror match, but you see the difference. Deion Sanders out there at receiver. Uh, Wesley really loves him, has great speed. Of course, has that slot apprentice ability out there as well. And that Calvin Johnson at receiver. So... What a massive turnover in the game. But you got to be careful here if you're Wesley. Backed off on your own two-yard line. In the shadows of his own goal post, Derrick Henry at quarterback. He will hand it to Tony Pollard. Big hit, great gap shoot from Henry's defense. Able to get in the backfield and prevent really any breathing room for young Wesley. And Clef made a great point. You know, these guys both run in this big dime 2-3-6 world. This defense has really picked a lot of picked up a lot of steam lately, become very popular in the Madden community. Watch for that lurking linebacker. He kind of loops around that Ooh. risky pass there. Ooh. But make sure you guys that watch was almost for this. the the the, uh, the exact same thing we saw the other way. A, a throw to the flat almost jumped. And for Henry, that would have been a touchdown. Yeah, and it's tough when you're backed up here. It kind of changes the camera angle when you try to pass the ball. But watch for this looping linebacker out of this 2 3 6 will. How well can Wesley pick it up and maybe even use his pocket presence to evade it? Third and 10, and it looks like Henry's going to take a timeout here. 52 seconds left in the first quarter. And Wesley looking to get out of his own end zone. Clef, a, a wild, wild start to this game. A wild read from Henry, something we don't usually see. This is why Wes is in the finals. He's been making plays like this all tournament on defense. His defense is really standing up for himself when he needed the most. That's a huge play. We see Henry on defense in his 2-3-6 as well. He's in the wheel as well. This is two dudes making adjustments. This is high-level Madden to come out here. This is exactly what NFL coaches do when they play against a division rival. You got to have a little wrinkle in your arsenal. Both of these guys coming out and giving each other a different look. You got to respect it. And there's no punters out here. Wesley says, tells the special teams you to stay on the field. We're going for this fourth and two. Bunch to the right side. Lone wide receivers, Deion Sanders on the left side of that formation. Charlie Joyner split off the bunch. It's a five-man rush from Henry. Stepping. Look at deep down the field for a big play. Yeah. He's got prime Come time. On, and prime Come on, Deion. Come on, Deion. Let's go. And prime time's got green grass. Get and stop, Wesley, Wes. he puts the first Get touchdown stop, on man. the board. 92 yards to the house. Wesley Gittens attacking early. We talked about the Deion Sanders, the prime time, all that speed. Wesley did a great job with that corner out, brought Henry's user out wide to the right, and then backside the skinny post for an absolute laser catch and run. And Wesley's on the board early. 7-0 our score. What a turn of events as Wesley converts the fourth and two and puts a touchdown on the board. TD, let's take a look at it one more time. Those dangerous skinny posts. And you know, Primetime's got the wheels to get away from the defense. Too much speed against man-to-man -man coverage. You saw Henry had no choice but to guard that corner out. And Wesley is fired up. They live just a couple doors down from each other, so they might be able to hear each other when they're celebrating. 7 nothing, Wesley on top. Henry swatted down at the line. All Wesley early in this game as we look towards the end of the first quarter. And that was really dangerous again there, guys. Even though it was tipped, I think there was a defender actually manned up on him, and that might have been another pick right there. So scary read for Henry. Wesley looking good on defense early. And there's Wesley's defense stepping up once again, closing that lane up the middle is Marshawn Lattimore, who's been big early for Wesley's defense. End of one, seven nothing. Third and ten for Henry. You can go to that tight slots formation. He's got Calvin Johnson, Charlie Joyner out there, Darren Waller at tight end, and there's the big man. Derek Henry scrambles. It's going to be a fourth and two for Henry, and you know he's not bringing the punt unit out there. 
Massive play in the game right here for Henry. Can't get stopped. That will put Wesley in complete control with getting the ball at half. So this is a huge fork and two for Henry's confidence in his offense going forward. Looking left side. He's got AP for a first down. So this wide receiving core, he's got Allworth, Andre Johnson, Charlie Joyner, and Darren Waller out there. Ty, that's a lot of speed on the field. A lot of speed, which is the most important thing every single year in Madden. Speed at the receiver position. And you saw Henry goes to the out route to the running back on the previous play. You know, th those are the, some of the best routes this year. The halfback ins and out routes, they do a great job beating man. They also get underneath those zone drops. But right there, Wesley guards the out route to the running back. So Henry goes behind him, hits the dig route. Great read. And quick throw out of the flat. There's Adrian Peterson. Ooh, takes a big hit at the 44-yard line. But he's crossed midfield. And Henry, looking to tie this game up, is in business. Henry going a lot to the flood play here. He's got the out route out wide. He's got the halfback out route. But then he's got that uh, dig route to the middle. Just making the right reads now. He's starting to get a little bit more momentum here as we head deeper in the second quarter. And there goes Henry scrambling. Let's bring in Clef the God. Clef, what are you seeing on this drive for Henry looking to tie this game up? Oh, Wes is doing a great job of making him work. I mean, everything is coming hard right now. Nothing is easy about this drive. He's really having to work, getting him the third down, got him to a fourth down. I think right here, Henry need to really start thinking about milking and not picking up these first downs, staying in third and short, third and manageable. You don't want to give Wes this ball back. Wes get the ball at half. So you want to slow this game down and really go into half. Best case situation, this is a tie game going into half. Yeah, and honestly, Clef, Wes, he, he's okay if Henry scores here, right? Because there's so much time left. Like, he's not even, like, Wes is in complete control of this ball game because even if he scores, you're going to have like a minute, minute and a half still with the ball, and you get ball at half. So I think to right. your point, Henry does need to use the clock. Right. The quicker Henry score right here, the better for Wes. Going out of bounds right there, the better for Wes. Wes is chilling. Yeah. He gets seven here, it's no problem because I can go right back downfield, get seven, like, a, like that drive never happened. Clef, how much pressure does it take off a player when they're able to start off the game first drive with an interception and get an early stop? Oh, huge, huge, because now you're playing from ahead. You know, you got it. You already got your stop. And in this game, it don't take multiple stops. It only takes one stop and great clock management. Sometimes it takes zero. So your first final to come out here, get a turnover, and then Beam. get seven. End zone. He's got Allworth on the skinny post. A touchdown for Henry. Henry is all business right now, but he's an extra point away from tying this up. And goes back to our point where Henry's got to think outside the box a little bit. That's the first time this game that he audibled over to the gun bunch strong formation. And, and Wesley was forced to guard the wheel route, so he throws to the post to the backside. Henry going outside the box a little bit, getting out of the bunch in the tight, goes to the bunch strong, and it pays dividends big time touchdown like we were talking about. He just gave way too much time for Wesley's high-powered offense. Seven apiece. We wouldn't expect anything less. We take a look one more time, TD. That Lance Allworth, maybe a little underrated. Everybody knows about a lot of the big players out there, but Allworth maybe doesn't get the shine that some of these other wide receivers do. No, he doesn't, but he's one of the best in the game, has good speed, has great route running, can use that outside apprentice ability on him if you want, and just a great read right there. You saw the user for uh, Wesley completely taken out of the picture. That's what these guys try to do. They try to manipulate the defensive user, throw some routes behind it, and that's exactly what Henry did, and he ties his ball game up. And by the way, TD, my favorite part about Allworth is anybody can have him. He's part of the team captains program. Everybody gets a team captain. So it's not something you have to go buy in the store. That's something that you get for playing Madden Ultimate Team. Exactly. So an easy way to start, to jumpstart your team, get one of the best receivers in the game early, use that team captain. Uh-oh, uh-oh, right at the middle, wide open. It's Tony Pollard, former Memphis Tiger, down to the 34-yard line, and Wesley back in business with a minute 20 and counting. He's 34 yards away from taking the lead. Wesley freestyling a little bit, has his running back on a little underneath route, but he waits, playmakers him up the field, and turns it into a massive game. Woo -hoo. We're laying hits out here like it's a record studio. That was Vernon Davis taking the hit, but picks up a first down. And I wonder if we see, does Henry maybe try to use his timeouts here? Wesley gonna go to the ground, keep more of this clock ticking. I wonder if Henry does he even try to call these timeouts. He's in a dire situation with Wesley getting the ball at half. He will have some time at halftime to collect his thoughts, try to figure out how to stop this person that he labs with a lot. He knows Wesley's game uh, better than anybody is. Wesley will take off with Derrick Henry. He'll pick up the first down and take a timeout. Balls at the eight-yard line tie. It seems like it's a foregone conclusion that Wesley could score here, but it's, if there's a place that it's tough to score, it is inside the 10-yard line. It's so true, and I think points are the most important thing here. Of course you want a touchdown, but with getting the ball at half, you're okay with the field goal, and no timeouts, you want to be careful. 
And what a great user there, Ty. That, that halfback wheel route is so difficult, but you saw Henry uh, on defense able to click on and be in the spot where Wesley would want to throw to that wheel route. Exactly, especially in the red zone. You're so concerned with both wheel routes, the running back and the tight end. You have to do everything you can, especially take it away with your user. Great job from Henry. This time the running back stays in to block. Henry trying to take off. He'll throw this one away through the back of the end zone. Six seconds. Do you run one more play with no timeouts? Yes, you do, but that was really scary. Wesley almost took a sack and ended the half. He's very fortunate the last second he threw that away. But like to your point, I think Wesley, this is a quick, you know, one, two, one of the wheel routes, maybe the crosser over the middle with the high ball, and then you kick your field goal. Henry oh, said absolutely oh, everybody. He was looking for the sack to end the half, and you can see Wesley with a sigh of relief that Henry got rid of that ball. He will settle for a field goal. And you see the high-level strategy coming into play. Henry says, I'm going to send pressure. Try to get a sack so you get no points. Oh, Wesley down. very lucky to get that ball away. But these guys thinking on the next level. This is high IQ Madden. And that, for Henry, that's a huge defensive stop going into the second half. So, Ty, wasn't a great half from Henry. Not a great first quarter especially. But getting that stop, holding Wesley to three at the end of the half, that's got to build a little bit of confidence. It really does. To hold him to three in Madden 22 is a big win for Henry with his confidence and his momentum going in the second half. But Wesley's got to feel good. Up 10-7 and getting the ball to start the second half. Well, ladies and gentlemen, catch your breath. It was an absolutely frantic pace here in the first half. But Wesley, looking for his first belt, has a 10-7 lead over his friend and his Austin cohort, Henry. Let's get going. Second half action, 10 minutes away from awarding a $250,000 check and the ultimate Madden Bull belt. It is Wesley with the ball first to the 25-yard line. And he's got that bunch over the right side. He'll give it to Tony Pollard out of the backfield and start things off with a first down run to the 37-yard line. Big drive for both guys. And we saw at halftime, you know, both these guys saying, you know, whoever wins, no hard feelings. But I don't know about that, right? Friendships can come into play here when you're talking $250,000, $100,000 on the line. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But He's looking deep down the, the field. Cross. He's got yep. Charlie Jordan down to the 10-yard line. A big play to the 9-yard line. You said, Ty, this drive was huge for Wesley, and he started off with a big play. Absolutely massive. He goes to that cross screen play, which has become very popular. There's basically a stock fade route. Gets outside that safety uh, in that deep half right there. Gets a little bit of space, throws it in there, and that's a huge play. Because if Wesley can go up 17-7, that's going to be big. Henry in trouble here. Needs another goal line stand. Got a hole in the three. And Henry will use Ooh. a second half timeout. And you can see the disappointment on the number one seed's face, knowing that that's a major mistake. That is big. It really is going to come back to haunt you later. But at the same time, you don't want to give up a touchdown in that spot. So you want your defense to be set. But if, even if, if Wesley goes down and get a touchdown now, he's in trouble. That's a well, dot. He threw a high ball to Charlie Jordan. Come Charlie on. Jordan caught Just a touchdown. Tyler Wesley. Davis. Wesley takes a two-score lead. That touchdown, it made that timeout for naught. And you hear Wesley saying, just need one stop now in his GGs. That was a 50-50 ball, though. He goes to the high ball streak back of the end zone. Sometimes you come down with that. Sometimes you don't. Fortunately for Wesley, he does 17-7. to And now Henry, the belt winner. His back is against the ropes right now. 57-second drive there from Wesley Gittens. The Georgia native goes up by 10 as we take a look. One more time at the play that set this all up. The streak down the sidelines, and Derrick Henry delivers a laser. Yeah, you see how it gets to the outside of that safety. A lot of space right there. A great pass lead from Wesley to the outside. And then he is able to convert it to a touchdown. That was huge. What a way to start the second half for Wesley Gittens. Now what can Henry do on his first offensive drive of the second half? Back down the field. What? He, Nick, he had a wide open touchdown to the left side. Just missed it. He had the tight end wheel route initially. Oh, man. Henry's not making good reads right now. Is, is Henry a little rattled right now? Is, is that what we're seeing here? Because you don't see oh, Henry miss reads too often. You don't. You don't, especially the way he's been playing throughout this whole entire Ultimate Madden Bowl tournament. He's been lights out on offense. But right now, a little bit hesitant on offense with his reads. Had the wheel route, had both wheel routes, and just missing. So it, it's, that's a credit to Wesley also. Of course, Wesley's been playing great defense. But yeah, if you're Henry, you got to stay dialed in here. Can't let this get to you. you got to you know, step up in the pocket and make some good reads. All right, with Henry third and short, he has a man down the field. It's Charlie Joyner. Join me in the end zone. A touchdown for Henry. He cuts into Wesley's lead. We've got scoring all over the place here in the third quarter. 
anything you can do, I can do better, says Henry. He goes right to the cross screen. The play that Wesley just ran on for a big play, he goes right back to it. I mean, this was absolutely wide open to the sidelines. And just like that, Henry's back in. And that's what he needed. He needed a big play like that to get the momentum on his side, get back on defense, put the pressure back on the Wesley. Kick is away. A three-point ball game it is once again. As we'll take a look at this touchdown one more time, TD Wesley scored in 53 seconds. Henry scored in 46. Yeah, you see that stock fade route. I mean, this got a guy not even 10 yards with him. The, the defender went to the crossing route, and that stock fade route from the cross screen becomes so popular and put, pays off big time right there for Henry. Henry stepping left, looking left, and who else but Megatron Autobots. Come on, you got to stop this guy. He might need some Autobots to stop this Wesley offense. It seems like Wesley can do no wrong. Megatron just so good, and Wesley loves that play, that Z-spot play with that corner route to sharp corner route to the sidelines. He highballed it, and all six foot five of Calvin, that's an easy, aggressive catch. Derrick Henry on first and 10, rolling right in trouble. Trying to get away, and you see Henry able to send that defender to those at home who maybe don't know how to do that. That's clicking in the right stick. Ty, it's a risk-reward when you send that zone defender to go after the quarterback. It is. You want to be careful. You want to time it right when you do it. But if he's rolling out like that with Derrick Henry, it's a good time to send it. And a great job by Henry. He was user in that crosser deep down the field as well. So great stick work from Henry. Post corner combo left side, and that was well covered by oh, Henry. Please. And Henry's defense yes. finding some room. But Bro, look on? at Henry's facial expression. He's sitting there. He feels like he's doing everything right at this point. He can't catch a break. Yeah, he's getting a little frustrated. You saw. I thought Wesley might have had the deep post right there, but Henry did a great job. He cross manned that post from the right side all the way to the left and wasn't able to throw it. But Henry frustrated, but he's playing a lot better here as we got the second half started. Crazy, a three-man rush there. Henry's been sending four, five. This time he sends three, and there's a wide open receiver over the middle. It's Calvin Johnson, the Lions legend, down to the 29-yard line. Yeah, I know the chat's heard of verticals. Gun bunch offset verticals, best play in Madden 22. Wesley goes to it, throws the crosser in the middle of the field, easy completion. Scream off the edge, scream oh, off the edge, and Taylor oh. Mays was just slightly held up by the offensive lineman. Henry can't believe he's not going the other way. And Henry just almost hit the ceiling, jumping out of his seat because he almost had one of those tipped at the line picks. That could have been an absolute game changer for Henry. Wesley, very fortunate there. Wesley facing a second and 10. Let's bring in Clef the God. Clef, almost a disastrous play for Wesley. Almost a game changer play. That type of play right there can really change the fate of the game to get that turnover. The one thing I'm surprised about Henry, he's running this 2 3 6 wheel, but he's not looping every play. Like some plays he's using the guy who's supposed to be looping. Some plays he's blitzing both of the slot corners. So he's doing a good job of mixing it up versus West. But the thing is, this blitz really doesn't scream as much if you're not looping. It's about to get crowded in here because I believe one great user is about to step in. User, this game, it's a close one. This is a huge drive for uh, Henry's defense just to get a stop and stay in this game. Absolutely. It's funny. Clubs comes in saying that I was peeping the same thing. You know, it seems like, yeah, he tried to make that adjustment. Right here, he's on that backside linebacker. You need him to be looping. That's a great scramble right there by Wesley with Henry. You need that backside linebacker to be looping to put pressure on him. But Henry, you know, Henry's usually running 3 3 5 wide. Both of these guys trying to switch it up because the game, you know, this is Madden Bowl, the championship for $250,000. They're trying to switch it up because each other knows each other's game so well. And you can see maybe, maybe Henry just isn't used to it. But now he's back in that 3 3 5 wide. Let's see if he can come up with a big stop right here. First down and goal. Derrick Henry with Tony Pollard in the backfield. Bunch over to the left side. Joyner and Calvin Johnson join Vernon Davis over there. Primetime Deion Sanders alone on the right side. It's Henry back to pass. Stepping up. Give stepping up. Looking to the end zone. He fumbled. He's on the yard line. And now Wesley's <laughs> offensive line picks it up. Yo, this oh is the third time goodness. today. The third time today Wesley's gotten blessed. On that first play, oh Henry should have had a pick with the oh acro when he had his back up against the wall. Then the lineman, and here we go, a fumble at the one. And if you West, you feel so fortunate right now, man. You need, those are the type of plays that make you think, hey, it's just my time. That's one of those, it's just my time plays, because that, that's supposed to be recovered by Henry. But hey, everything is going his way. This is what you need to win these games. 17-14, I need the fours up, not in just our chat, 
but on every chat, if you're on a side cast, if you're on a watch long, whatever, put your fours up in the chat. We're five minutes away from crowning an ultimate Madden Bowl champion. Second down and goal. Goal line formation for Wesley up by three. He'll drop back to pass with Derrick Henry. Waiting, looking, it's well covered. All sorts of time though. Rolls outside of the pocket. He'll throw this one away. We'll go to a third and goal. And Henry's goal line defense, red zone defense in general, has been phenomenal. I want to go back to that fumble play because Henry's stick work on that was exceptional. He guarded the wheel route, and then he came back and user tackled the quarterback to get a fumble. Let's see if he can hold the door again here, though. I wonder if we'll see a fullback dive here on third and goal. Let's go, Pitts. Over the top, Kyle Pitts into the end zone. No surprise. Wesley goes to the Atlanta Falcon. And for Henry, a deflating touchdown after a fumble was sitting there for the taking on the one-yard line. You can see it on Henry's face. He is disgusted right now. And for Wesley, that's a big touchdown. Going up two possessions. And like we talk about all the time, Nick, sometimes you need a little bit of the luck. You need the angels on your side. And of course, Wesley, he's known as one of the luckiest, flukiest Madden players there is. But he got that fumble recovery absolutely massive. Take a look at what a wild drive. This is the fumble. This could have turned the game. It sits there on the one yard line. A whole lot of different jerseys out there, but it's Frank Regnow diving on the fumble and keeping it in Wesley's hands and tight end up turning into six. Unbelievable. Big old 77. Frank Ragnow recovers it. Who would have thought? When you're building your Madden Ultimate team, as we take a deep shot here. Deep pass. Oh, Lift oh, forward oh, to the true. end zone. One play. Oh, let me get one score. Get Henry back within oh. four. And he's begging his defense. He's begging the game of Madden. Give me a little bit of love with 442 to go. No yeah, quit, right. King Henry. Phenomenal. You can't doubt and this just having, And he just hasn't got one break. And now he's just wishing, like, can I get one stop? You know, this is the fourth time. Can he finally come up with that stop? He's came close multiple times. Will they finally give him his break? User, here's all I'm saying is, is it's a three-point game now. We'll take a look one more time. I feel like right now, Henry needs to go get himself a Kit Kat because he's looking for them to give him a break. And right now, he can't find anything on the defensive side of the ball to get a stop against Wesley's offense. Yeah, no that's the problem. He hasn't been able to get a stop. And that's a big cover three bomb right there. Henry just has to come up with the stop. And here he is once again in that 2-3-6. Two, three, two, three, I want to see if he's able to get that linebacker looping. But Wesley's saying, hey, it's milk and cookies time, boys. We're not going to play around with this. 4-33 and counting in the fourth quarter. $250,000 on the line and tie. This point, this is where the palms are getting real sweaty for both these players because they're both so close to being on the precipice of history. Yeah, crunch time. Getting down to that nitty gritty. You see Henry, looks like he switched up his defense here now. Going to go to the 2-4-5 odd, it looks like. So Henry really bring out the full oh. arsenal on defense. And we have a delay a game from Wesley. Nice Ooh, got to be careful and, and there. Let's bring in our resident expert, Clef the God. Clef, how big? I mean, again, it's first down, but these little five-yard penalties, they can come back to bite an offense. Oh, it's huge because instead of getting five yards right here and being first, a second and five, you get five yards, you right back at second and ten, so it's really no game. You see Henry go back to what got him here. This 2 4 5 odd got him here. Now, you're going to see West slide his line right and try to roll out on this every time. Woo, screamed out a little dead duck in the air just floated out to the sidelines and it is caught for a big game give him 11 yards on a play that could have been intercepted what a throw right there look at the touch pass on that i thought he was gonna get sacked you saw the contains coming around the edge great defense from henry but what a throw from wesley just came out of nowhere with that one Hi, that looked like when we were in elementary school you ever play play 500 out at recess just throw the ball up Shout out to points. That looks like one of those plays. And there's Calvin, Calvin Johnson on the corner. Calvin. Calvin. And there's Calvin Kinnings Johnson on, to the bro. end zone. He looks right at home oh, in the end zone for Wesley Gittens as he goes back up by two scores. Not we have a shootout on our hands. Neither of these guys can sniff a stop in the second half. The first half, they were playing relatively good defense, uh, man, slowing the game stupid. down. And now it's been unleashed, and everyone's just throwing lasers out here. Big time throw. Corner route, flood play to the left side. Wesley back up two possessions. The pressure once again shifts to Henry. And Wes is playing about as good as you can play for his first finals. I mean, this is pretty much a flawless performance. He had that, that fumble, but besides that, I mean, he's just playing great offense, defense, everything's clicking for him right now. Bring in one great user, close things out with 
All four of us in the booth. What a way to end the year, user, no. as Henry no. trying to find something. How quickly does he need to score, user, to feel comfortable in this game? Right now. Okay. <laughs> he needs to score cool. right now. So right now. Right now. And, and listen. Don't wait any time. And, yes, and Clef hit it right on the head. We was looking at him in that 2-3-6 defense. He's giving up a lot of points to West, and we're like, hey, he's not. He doesn't look that comfortable. And when you see a guy switch back to what brought him there, you know he wasn't that comfortable. That's a big dot right there to get him down to the 40. Listen, Henry knows what time it is. That's why you see him starting to take more risk on defense. They're looking to make a play. So you're going to see the score start going up unless Wesley goes into full milk and cookies mode. First and 10. Henry back to pass. Four-man rush. Looking right side. He might have him. That's Andre Johnson. Can he get to the pylon? He's down to the one-yard line. Picks up 39 yards as he crosses 300 yards passing. What an offensive performance. Henry a yard away from cutting it back to a score. And, and Henry's just looking to go deep pretty much every play here. You see it now. All deep crossing routes, deep corner routes. That time a little bit of a freestyle play, but able to turn into a big play. And neither of these guys can sniff a defensive stand. <laughs> Oh, I and thought I he was going to run it in. Instead, he got a little risky for the biscuit, finding Jared Cook from one yard out, and we're back to a four-point game. <laughs> we're setting up for a crazy ending here. Just back and forth we go. Henry's, there's no quit him. He's going to keep fighting back. He's relying on that offense. But at some point, someone here has to get a defensive stand. And you know this time coming up here for Wesley, it's all about the clock. He's trying to make this the last possession. He's trying to clock out Henry. And remember, this that timeout that Henry used is going to come critical here as we approach these final two minutes. Yeah, Henry did a great job of getting out of bounds right here. This was huge. Because if he don't get out of bounds right here, that clock runs under 2.30, meaning Wes would be able to run a play and just, you know, take it to the two-minute one. And now he's going to have to run two plays. It basically gives him another timeout. Does Henry have the defense to stop Wesley from picking up a first down? First and 10, bunch to the right side. Tony Pollard on the left hip of Derrick Henry. It will be a pass here as he screamed at and gets hit as he throws, and that's huge for Henry's quest to come back. The clock stops with 2.36 to go. And looks like Henry goes, yeah, he goes man coverage there. User's trying to send a screamer off that right edge. That's what I think, user, I think that's what Henry might need to do here. Send a little bit of pressure, force Wesley maybe into a mistake. That's absolutely, absolutely what he got to do. He got to send all types. Scramble! Oh, oh, nice fumble. oh, and that's huge because he's going to be able to take this down to the two-minute warning by a millisecond. Third down and eight. Probably not going to see a snap here. Yep, Henry's got the controller down. Clef, what are you going to do here if you're Wesley on third and eight? A first down can end this game. You got to go what you're most comfortable with. I expect Wes right here to either run the crosser play from Bunch, try to roll out, or he's going to audible to a tight slot and run his flood play, or or, or to play um, post-wheel drag. Right here, look, he's going to actually audible to Bunch strong, watch the wheel route coming from the running back. Third and eight. Bunch to the left side. Megatron's got his X-Factor activated. Charlie Joyner and Vernon Davis over there. Deion Sanders alone on the right side. Tony Pollard on the left tip. Derrick Henry back to pass. Looking left side. He's got Joyner. Joyner straight up dropped it. Joyner straight up dropped it on the sidelines. And on fourth and eight decision for Wesley. Charlie Joyner laying an egg in one of the biggest moments of Wesley's Madden career. And now, guys, here we go. Biggest play that we've seen all year long between these two guys right here. Here we go. Big fourth and eight. Did Charlie Joyner just sell the bag for Wesley? He's got a three-point lead and a fourth and eight. He'll go to tight slots. Calvin and primetime on the right side. Vernon Davis and Charlie Joyner, who just showed why he loves Butterfingers. On the left side, Tony Pollard to the right of Derrick Henry in the shotgun. It's a timeout for Wesley. He's going to think about this critical play. Yeah, play clock was running down there. I, I don't think he wanted to call the timeout in case he does get stopped, but he had to. He had a bad uh, route combo set up. Didn't like what he saw. And here we go. He's going to live to fight another down. Big fourth and eight for both guys. Madden Bowl championship on the line. Back to pass. Derrick oh! Henry, four-man rush underneath. Oh, and it's all covered and picked off by Derwin James. He's over in the mega cast right now, and he's making plays for Mr. 10 for 10, who, like a defibrillator, is back to life. Henry has no quit. Dog. That, I mean, how guys. many times have you seen this guy just make plays? Every game, every game this tournament, when it came down to when the, when the butter met the bread, 
The kid is making play after play after play. He's comfortable being uncomfortable. Clef, we got to be honest, though. That was one of the blindest reads we've seen. I mean, that was like triple coverage from Wesley. Very questionable. That was predetermined. That's one of those, hey, I'm throwing mm -hmm. this no matter what. I, he didn't even know what play you wanted to call. That's when the pressure gets to you. I guarantee if he playing in, you know, just a regular game, he know what yep. to call, and he don't make that read. Third and 13 now for Wesley. He is down by four, but down by three. Can't, field goal will tie this up, but he's thinking about six. He's thinking about picking up a first down at least. No timeouts remain for Wesley. Henry down by three. It's There's Derrick no Henry way. back to pass. Look at left side, wheel route wide open. It's Adrian Peterson, a first down to the 21-yard line. He needed 14, he got 15. And Henry, Mr. 10 for 10, can see the back-to-back -back titles on the horizon. Absolutely. I know the chat is wondering, like, will Henry kick three? Only way Henry kick three is if it's up under 10 seconds. Other than that, he's going to go for this. He, he already knows you cannot leave any time on the clock. This is Madden 22. You leave him 30 seconds, that's going to be GG's. Clef, the guy can tell you about that firsthand. You want to make sure you manage that clock well and make sure they do not get that ball back. And Henry went with the quick snap there, guys. Quick snap, trying to get him off, not set. Wesley couldn't get out there to the wheel route. And the play previously, Wesley just not covering these wheel routes. And the most critical point in the game, you got to take away the best route in Madden 22. Clock continues to run. No timeouts left for Wesley on defense. Up by three. Henry will give the ball to Adrian Peterson. A little inside zone action and continue to use that clock. He'll get down to the six-yard line. And this is perfect time management by Henry. Basically right here, either I score or the game is over. He's thinking of seven. He want to get seven with no time left. 20 seconds left and counting. Henry in the gun, bunch to the right side. He'll motion joiner tight to the formation. 15 seconds, 14 seconds. Henry will split Allworth off the bunch. Rolling right with Derrick Henry. Back corner of the end zone. Oh, that defense from Wesley prize that one three. Third and goal. Eight ticks remain. And Wesley I has felt like no he choice. Had the wheel. Yeah, I thought he did too. I thought he did too, user. He, it was man coverage, but he would have got behind it. And Wesley has no choice now but to play defense. That whole t clock management from Henry was exceptional. And Wesley, not known as a defensive player, has to rely on his defense here. Third and goal. Henry back. Down to him. Y'all done messed up. Y'all done messed up and let this boy win one. He might run on four to five. Y'all done messed up. The whole community, y'all better take notes right now. The boy is 18 years old, and Clutch is I don't know what. And he said, user, he said, I'm built for this. He's special. Final this is, play this is special. of the game. This is Does Wesley have a miracle in him? What a drive. Forces an interception on Wesley's offensive drive on fourth down. A short field. He uses the clock like a maestro to four seconds left, leaving Wesley only one play and a dream. $100,000 on the line, a $250,000 top prize. The sack is Let's there. Go. Put a crown on his head, put a belt around his waist with ice in his veins. Henry has gone back to back. He is your ultimate Madden Bowl champion and your Madden 22 on, GOAT. Let's Mr. Go. Back to Back for the first time ever. And he oh takes home goodness, the largest first place prize in Madden tournament history. Congratulations, Henry Leverett.